Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. Today, we're going to share with you one of the best places in El Salvador, the Ruta de las Flores. We've been backpacking through Central America since the beginning of 2020, and we were surprised how many of our fellow travellers skipped visiting El Salvador. We absolutely fell in love with this beautiful part of Central America and would definitely recommend including El Salvador in any Central America travel itinerary. Now, let's show you why you must visit the Ruta de las Flores. Ruta de las Flores, or Flower Route, is one of the most beautiful regions in El Salvador. Set in the Western Highlands, this is a popular tourist destination for both foreigners and locals. It is filled with charming colourful towns, gorgeous mountain views, plenty of farms and coffee plantations, and of course streets lined with flowers. This area has something for everyone. Foodies will delight in the weekend food festivals. Those wanting a bit of rest and relaxation will love the relaxed atmosphere and fresh mountain air. And there are also plenty of high adrenaline activities for adventure lovers. One thing we loved about El Salvador travel is how cheap and easy it is to get around the country. You can easily get around the Ruta de la Flores on the colourful chicken buses for just a couple of dollars. You can also catch these buses to get to the Ruta de la Flores from other parts of the country. It cost us only two dollars and three hours to get here from the beachside area of El Tunco. The currency of El Salvador is the US dollar, which also simplifies your travel experience. Buses run along the Ruta de la Flores at regular intervals, and we loved the experience of traveling with the locals. Just keep in mind that buses stop at around 7 p.m. There are also vans called Colectivos that you can hop on to get to where you need to go. They are a bit more expensive than buses, but they are a good and slightly quicker alternative. We found a really nice homestay in the small town of Salcoe Titan. Salcoe Titan is a small town with a park, food court and a couple of other restaurants. There's not too much to do in the town, but it's a good base for exploring the area. Our homestay hosts were really lovely, and our time with our hosts is what really made our stay special. They really went out of their way to share their country with us. They gave us a personal tour of their avocado farm, which had spectacular views out to Santa Ana Volcano. Another highlight of our time with them was experiencing the night food market at Na Uizalco, which was such a fun night out with plenty of food and entertainment. Make sure you eat plenty of pupusas during your El Salvador trip. We are absolutely addicted to these local delicacies. A more popular town to stay in when visiting La Ruta de la Flores is Huayua. Huayua is the next town up from Salcoatitan. It has a good range of facilities, including ATMs, a supermarket, a tourist center, and plenty of accommodation and restaurant options. On weekends, a must-visit destination is the Feria Gastronomica Food Fair in the heart of Waiua. The town comes alive with dozens of food stalls, lively music and street performances. And for kids, there are plenty of activities such as toy cars, a tourist train and horse rides. An activity not to miss in Waiua is the Seven Waterfalls Tour. We'd recommend doing this on the weekend so that you can finish your tour with a swim in the thermal pools, also known as the Churros de la Calera. The thermal pools are only open on the weekends. For adventure lovers, you can choose a tour which includes rappelling down the waterfalls. Rappelling in El Salvador was a lot of fun and we definitely recommend it to anyone wanting a bit of adventure. For more on this El Salvador adventure experience, check out our Seven Waterfalls Waiua vlog. Another town not to be missed on the Ruta de la Flores is Apaneca. This magical town, or Pueblo Magico, is filled with colourful murals and cute little stores. One of the main attractions in the area is Apaneca Zip Lining with Apaneca Canopy Tour. Right.
Also be sure to check out Cafe Albania when you're in Apaneca. There is a $3 cost of admission, but that includes entry to the hedge maze as well as the cafe. The views from the cafe across the valley are absolutely stunning. They have a small zip line here and you can even ride a bike along a tightrope. Where are we, Jay? Something that begins with M and it's nice, these are thermal pools. We visited Salto de Malacatiupan. It's on the outskirts of the Ruta de las Flores, but it's well worth the visit. To get there, we took a bus to Itaquizaya and a tuk-tuk the rest of the way. It was such a nice end to the day to bathe in the warm thermal waters. There were also pools with cool water for a nice contrast. You could sit under the waterfalls, which provided for a great aqua massage. We loved that we were the only foreigners there, which was a common theme in many areas in El Salvador. Getting back to town after our stay at the waterfalls was a bit trickier, as not many tuk-tuks go that way. But fortunately, a passerby offered us a lift on the back of their van. There are six main towns that make up the Ruta de las Flores. We didn't get the chance to get to two of those towns, Concepcion de Ataco and Ahuachapan. Ataco is one of the more popular places to stay with plenty of accommodation options, heaps of restaurants and colorful murals. Ahuachapan is the northmost town of the Ruta de las Flores and is a main travel hub of the area. It is known for its coffee plantations, so make sure you check that out if you're in the area. Thanks for watching. If you liked this El Salvador vlog, please give it a like and leave a comment in the comment section below. To see more adventure packed travel videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. We are the Bucket List Travelers, signing off for now. See you next time. See you next time.